guys. So I was going to do a quick little thrift video, or not thrift video, but flip video tonight of some fall stuff. Um, I've got three of these little pumpkins that I bought from the Dollar Tree. You think it's, it's not a ball? It is not a ball. He thinks it's a ball. Okay, so I'm going to redo three of them tonight in some fall colors, some DIY colors. And then I've got two of these mason jars um, that I'm going to do something with. I ain't really figured it out yet. You'll see in the video. I've got two little corbels that I'm going to redo that I've had in my stash. We're going to need some dark wax and some clear wax, white wax, and several like fall colors like some green, orange, and yellows. And then I have French Provincial in there too. Um, I've also got this one I'm going to And I may have another one. I just ain't figured out what I'm going to do for the fourth one yet. But uh, stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks. Okay, so for the first project, I have this little bird that I bought at Goodwill probably a couple years ago. And I've used it in my uh, different vignettes in my home. So I'm coloring it with French Millinery, which is one of my favorite DIY colors. And I do about two coats of that on there. And then I end up doing a clear wax here. And then I end up adding a dark wax to get into the grooves to show some of the detail. It was kind of chipping, so that's why I wanted to repaint it. And here I just wipe back the dark wax. Okay, for project two, I'm taking two different ball jars that I've got. And this one I wanted to paint orange. I want to do some little floral scenes. So I end up doing two full coats on here. And then I end up doing a dry brush with the white, Snow White Waverly color from Walmart. And then we'll clear wax it after I get done with it. I don't get that on video. Here's me using like my little fan brush to dry brush. There's some spots I got a little bit more than I wanted, but it ended up turning out pretty cute. So I end up painting this one with the green color from DIY. I think it's Fancy Farm Girl. Project 3. I ended up taking this box that I thrifted at the Goodwill. Um, it's very plain. So I ended up wanting to use a yellow color on here. And I cannot remember the color. <laughs> Saved my life. Um, but I ended up doing two coats of that on here. And I do not paint the inside. At all. So I'm using one of the JRV stencils and I want to go in with black to make it so I, it's a little brush that's kind of mixed with black and white where I had used it for another project. And I didn't care for the way it looked here but I ended up sanding it down and that ended up like distressing it some and making the words a little bit more seen. So this is kind of tricky. I was trying to do a pumpkin over in the corner. And I had to use like different things to level it out so I could get it right where I wanted it. So on this side, I just wanted full pumpkins on that side. And then I ended up using the fresh produce on the corner over here. This is probably one of my favorite stencils from JRV. And I use my Cricut a lot too, but theirs are just so reusable that they're my favorite. So I end up going over it with some clear wax from DIY just to steal it. So here I'm trying to style it. I have four clear bottles that I got from the Goodwill. And I bought all these things from the Dollar Tree, little uh, picks and stuff. And I love the pumpkins that they've got this year. They are so cute and affordable. I'm not the best at floral arrangements. I'm trying to get a little bit better at that. So for project four, I end up taking four spindles that I have from my stash. I have so many that it's ridiculous that I'm trying to get down, like to windle them down some. <laughs> 
So I do two in white and two in black. And I do, it takes about one coat each. So then I end up adding this crackle that I got from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. And it's probably my favorite that I've ever used. So I do one thick coat of that on each spindle. And I'm going in and I'll end up using green and orange for the sets of spindles. I love the orange and black combo, especially when the crackle comes through and you can notice it at the end of the video. The green looks pretty good on the white, um, and they are so cute to style with. And you can take your heat gun and it'll make it crackle more. You can let it wait and it'll crackle itself, but the heat gun makes it crackle a little bit extra. So for project five, I end up taking this little wood piece that I had cut out to make tags at Easter. And I ended up not selling it, these. Um, I made just a couple of them. You notice on the back that the bunny's still there. So I end up painting it black and I want to do like a crackle effect like I did on the spindles. And I do a thick coat of that. So then I go in with my orange and I crackle. And I'm using the same stencil that I used earlier with the pumpkins. So here I'm going to glue on my little um, metal thing. I can't think of the name of it. LOL. Oh me. So um, I put that on there just so when I use it as a, you can use it as a hanger or a shelf sitter or however you want to. So for project six, I end up taking the two corbels and I end up going in with the color Farm Fresh and Apothecary Mixed because I think I started with Apothecary, but they needed another coat on them. So it equals out to about two coats on there. And I have to use my little brush to get into the little holes and stuff. Here I'm going to end up using a dark wax because I want to make this more of a fall color. In spring, I like using white wax in summer. So here again, I'm going in with two coats. So I go in with my clear wax just to make sure I can pull back some of the dark because I don't want it too dark. I just wanted to kind of age them a little bit. So I want to sand just a tad just to get some of the detail to come out and distress them. So here I end up going in with my dark wax from DIY and they look super dark here but after you wipe them back it what the clear wax does. It helps take back some of the dark wax. So for my final project, I'm taking the washboard and I am going to end up painting it the same color that I did the corbels. It's like a farm fresh and apothecary mix color. And 
and it takes about one solid coat of that. Um, I do go in and kind of do like not really a second coat, but just a spot touch up on it. It was kind of hard for me not to keep this one for fall because it matches my fall color so well. So I'm going in and doing the little second coat on there just to make sure it's covered. So I'm here I'm using an IOD stamp. And I want to distress it back just to give it some detail. And I go in and distress with a wet rag in certain, just different spots that it would naturally distress. I go in with my clear wax like I've done with the other projects because I end up using dark wax after. And it just helps to pull back some of that dark wax and it not be too strong on there. So I take my rag after this and kind of just take pull back some of the dark and to buff it in and then I take my little painters tape off and there's your finished product thank you guys for watching like subscribe and comment